Question 22 says the figure below represents a triangular flower garden ABC in which AB is equal to 4 cm, BC is 5 it's 30 degrees. Find point D lies on AC. Point D lies on AC such that BD is 4 meters and angle BDC is up to. Find correct to two decimal place A angle BDC. Okay, so um, if we have to solve this question, this is um, angle BDC. Okay. So this is angle BDC, and we are meant to know this is an obtuse angle. So in order to look for this, the best method we can employ is our sine rule. Okay, so um, you know that um, when you have A over sine A is equal to B over sine B. Now, indeed, small a means this is the side of the triangle. Sine A is the angle opposite it. So from here, since I'm looking for um, angle BDC, I'm going to take 4 over sine 30. When you look at sine 30, 4 is opposite it, which is equal to 5 over. Now, that's now sine BDC. Okay, for the angle. So from here, we can now cross multiply. So this will be 4 sine BDC. BDC is equal to um, 5 sine 30. So this will be um, sine BDC. That's angle BDC will be 5 sine 30 divided by 4. Okay, so uh, you know that sine 30 will give us what 0 0.5. So this is 5 times 0 0.5 all divided by 4. Okay, so let me scroll down. So this means this will be sine BDC. Angle BDC will be equal to now 5 times 0 0.5 will give us what that's 2.5 divided by 4. So let's perform our 2.5. Divided by 4, so this is 2.5 divided by 4. So it's going to give us up 0 0.625. So this will be 0 0.625. Therefore, angle BDC will be equal to what the sine inverse of 0 0.625. So we need to put 0 0.625 on our calculator. So at this point, we will employ our calculator. So we we'll say um, shift the sine inverse of 0 0.625. That's going to give us um, 38.68 degree. So, okay, so our BDC is going to be 38.68 degree. Now, to get the obtuse angle of BDC, if you remember, this is our uh, ASTC here, but the sine, the cosine, and the tangent, they are all, um, when it's between 0 and 90 degrees, they are all positive. Now, here, sine is positive alone. Under here, cosine and tangent is positive. Why here, cosine is positive. That means in the second quadrant, um, between 90 and um, 180, where the obtuse angle falls in, sine is positive. So since we know that sine is positive, we will now do our obtuse BDC. BDC will be 180 minus 38.68 degree. Now that means our BDC answer, our final answer for BDC is going to be, so we are going to perform um, 180 minus 38.6 will be 180 minus 38.68 so that will give us um, 141.32 so this will be 141.32 so this is our final answer to two decimal place so the next question says we should find the length of AD so so to find the length of AD Remember, it says we should find the length of AD. Now, to get the length of AD, okay, 
From this point, you can see that AD, ABD, it's what? Angle ABD, it's, a, it's an isosceles. Isosceles triangle. Okay? Because AB is equal to what? BD. So that means the two angle bases are equal. And now, knowing that angle BDC, this is, angle BDC is 141.32, then angle ADB will be 180 minus 141.32. Reason being that the angles, these angles on a straight line. When the angle lies on a straight line, the sum is what? It's 180. So it means angle this plus this is supposed to give us 180. So when we don't know ABD, we do 180 minus 141.32. So ADB is going to give us, so let's do that. That will be 180 minus 141.32. Okay? So it's going to give us 38.68. So angle ADB will give us 38.68. Okay? We have to be sure. So that's 38.68 degrees. So this side is 38.68, 38.68, and this side is 38.68. So we need to look for ABD. Now, angle ABD will be 180 minus 38.68 plus 38.68. This is some angles. Reason is some angles of a triangle. Now, remember when you sum up your triangle, you are going to get the total sum of 180. So, this is going to give us um, angle ABD will be, so let's punch that in our calculator. So, that will be 38.68 times 2 180 minus answer. Okay, so it's going to give us a 102, 102 points, 102.64. Okay, so now we have our angle ABD. We can now decide to find the length of AD. So to get our length of AD, we apply our sine rule. We say, so from this point, we can decide to now say um, AD over sine B, or we say sine 102.64 is equal to, then we we'll have uh, 4 meters over sine, we we'll have 4 over sine 38.68. So at this point, we cross multiply. So this is going to be AD sine 38.68 is equal to 4 sine um, 102.64. Therefore, our AD is going to be 4 sine 102.64 divided by sine 38.68. Okay, so now let's perform this on our calculator. This is going to be 4 sine 102.64 divided by sine 38.68. Okay, so now this will give us a 6.24. So this is going to give us a... 6.24, let's see, 6.245, 6.245, and approximately to be 6.25 meters, okay? So, um, that is for the AD. Okay, so the next question says we should find um, the length, the length of DC. 
Okay, so to find the line DC, all we need to do at this point, knowing that we've gotten our BDC to be 141.32, um, we need to know the angle here, and we know here to be 30 degrees. So we'll say um, angle D, B, C will be, remember the sum angles of a triangle, when you sum the total angle, DBC plus 30 plus 141.32 is supposed to give you 180. So DBC will be 180 minus 141.32 plus 30 degrees. So DBC is going to give us, so let's do that on our calculator. So that will be 180 minus, in bracket, 141. 0.32 plus 30. So that's going to give us a total of um, 8.68. So knowing that um, that is 8.68 degree. Okay, so we'll apply our sign law again. DC over the angle, that's 8.68 will be 4 over that sign. 8.68 using our sign rule will be 4 over sine 30. Therefore, our DC is going to be 4 sine 8.68 divided by sine 30. Okay? So, let's punch that in our calculator. That will be... Um, that's going to be... 4 times sine 8.68 it divided by sine 30. So that will give us a 1.207. So it's going to give us 1.207 meters, which is approximately 1.21 meters to two decimal plates. Okay, so now we found our um, DC. The last question says we should look for the last question says we should look for area, that's D, that's area of triangle ABC. Now, in order to find area of triangle ABC, um, we're going to use the formula half AB sine C, where half, our A is going to be AB, length AB, line AB, times our B is going to be line BC times then sine ABC, angle ABC. Okay? So, in order to get this, we know our line AB and that's 4 meters. Our line BC, it's 5 meters. Now, sine ABC. ABC, it's where we need to look for. Remember, when we were um, solving this question, we said angle, this is going to be this is a 8.68 degree, and this is 102 points. Okay, let's confirm that again. It's, um, we got um, 102.64. So it's 102.64 degree. So this is going to be half times, this will be 4 times, 5 times sine. Now, to get our angle ABC, we sum it up. This will be 102.64 plus 8.68 to get the sum angle. This will be half times 4 times 5. It's going to give us 20 times sine. So, 102.64 plus, um, plus 8.68. That's 102. 0.64 plus 8.68 is going to give us um, 111.32. So this is going to give us um, 111.32. So to get our final answer, this is going to be 2 year 1, 2 in 20 will be 10 times sine 111.32. So let's do that on our calculator. So 2 times that will be 10 multiplied by sine 111.32. So that will give us a 9.315. So this is equal to 
9.315 meter. So this is 9.32 meter square corrected to two decimal place. So this is the final answer.